I've written another free program for helping people write documents in mathematics. I've written it in the language called Java, so you'll need Java 7 to run it. I'm putting it on the internet for people for free. If it's popular, I'll update it. Now, it works very similar to my uh, um, other program called Athento. So, just to quickly show you, I've got different tabs here for different fields of mathematics, general, calculus, set theory, logic and Greek s uh, to start with. So for example, I can press pi and then it's approximately equal to 3.1415 calculus, press that. So the integral of 2 dx equals 2x plus c. Uh, set theory you could have rational numbers as a subset of real numbers. And if you notice, if you hold a mouse over this, you get a, an idea of what each one means. So uh, we we'll look at logic. So, so it says here there exists exactly one. So it's six, there exists exactly one n, which is a member of natural numbers whoops where n plus 5 equals 2n we have logic symbols on propositional propositional logic and predicate logic there Greek symbols as well I've decided to put a subset of all the alphabet because well some of the Greek symbols are similar to the ones on your keyboard anyway so, for example, you can have electrical engineer might go might want to type in twenty ohms or fifty micro amps, for example. Now, I can press this button to change all these to char character entities for web pages. So you can see it's transferred all these symbols to to this type of format. I can transfer them all back, no problem. Or I can click this, and every time I press a button, it will automatically make a character ent entity. I'm going to uncheck that. So, I can copy everything to the clipboard. And this is my website where it, I will put up future updates. So I've got a web page editor here, so I can just go paste and it'll give me all the symbols there. So if we go into source, you can see that's where the character entities. This is where this is where so if I clear that text. I can say that pi symbol, make this into a um, character entity. So if I haven't got a WYSIWYG editor, I can just paste it straight into there. And if we go back to normal view, there's the pi symbol. So just clear that. Now, something I'm going to change in the future is this part here, HTML code insertion. So if I want a, a superscript, say if I want to do x to the power of 2, it puts in the coding for me, so I can put a 2 there. So I can copy that to the clipboard. If I go back to this, I can actually go straight to source. I can paste it straight into, like, into there like that, and I've got x squared. So I may expand upon these or change them if the program gets popular. I've got word wrap. I can save as text and so forth. Now, you may have a bit of an issue with some of these symbols not being displayed on your program which you want to uh, paste it into. For example, I have ceiling and floor symbols. So if I have a look at Notepad, I say ceiling symbol X. Copy this to the clipboard, I go to Notepad, paste, and it's come up as squares. or it might come up as a, something like a question mark or something. Now, the, all this means is that 
this particular font that you're using doesn't support those symbols so all you have to do is, is change uh, that font I'm using an Arial Unicode MS font there are other fonts which uh, support uh, various Unicode symbols so for example on Notepad I can try and find the font here we go it's default at Lucidia console so if I find Arial Unicode MS and click that that font supports that symbol. I think that's all I need to show you at the moment. There's the website if you wish to download it and uh, this is where I'll be uploading future updates as well. So um, thank you very much and uh, see you all soon.